Oh, hey there, guys. I didn't see you. Just uh, about to load some filament here. It's good you stopped by, though. I'm going to show you how to do that. My name is Cole with Vision Miner. Let's begin. The first thing you want to do is choose the material you're going to be printing with from the main screen. Now, for this particular job, we're using a custom material. That's so that we can allow the printer to preheat if necessary. Now, there are actually two ways of doing this. The way I always do this is obviously load it onto the spool holder. You don't have to say anything. When you load it, load it this way. So the filament is towards the back of the machine. That is so it can go through the filament runout detector. Keep feeding the filament through until it comes out of the PTFE tubing. Trim, I always trim the very end so it's not flat, so it's sharp. That way it just kind of penetrates better and depress the filament gear lever until you feel the filament being pinched and put the PTFE tubing into its securing hole. Now the two options we have for loading filament are either under material, load material, or the method I prefer, which is axis extruder. Axis extruder allows you to have manual control over feeding the filament through. Those are the only differences. For this purpose, we'll be using material, load material, and let the machine do the work. So it's going to ask us to verify that there's actually no filament loaded currently in the hot end. Then, as we stated previously, it asks you to insert the filament through the guide tube and into the extruder motor. It will then heat up to the temperature selected or specified in the material profile. So now we wait for the printer to heat up the nozzle to the specified temperature that we chose in the material profile that we made. If it's not up to temperature and we try to extrude the material, then it's going to stay a solid filament. It won't become molten and you'll get clicking from your extruder. Load material, all right. It is now at stage four of six, the load material section. If I hold on to the filament right here, and if you see me pinching it, you can see it very slowly putting the filament into the hot end. Now that we can see that it's being fed through the gears properly, we can move on to the next step, step five, where it will take 30 seconds and actually move some material. Once you see extruder coming out of the nozzle, you've loaded your filament properly and you can begin printing your part, assuming that you've level sensor calibrated and tested the auto leveling. Watch that video, we got that too. That was easy, but if you want more control, I've got something to show you. So that was material, load material, right? Well, I got another trick. This is what I use. It goes much more quickly. Axis extruder. Now what that's gonna do is move the nozzle into the middle of the bed and heat it up to the temperature that you want and allow you to basically do things by hand. And that gets things done a lot faster. And let me show you why. So once you get confident with this process, using Axis Extruder allows you to basically bypass a lot of these steps by depressing the lever, pressing down a bit, allowing that to sit down at the bottom of the nozzle. And then once you've manually fed the filament and you can use either the knob or the buttons to move the extruder, feed the filament in, or out, and that's it. Much faster process. Pushing down will load more filament in. Up will bring the filament out. Besides using the buttons, you can also use the knob. And that just allows you to perform the same task in a more manual way, but much faster. You can also perform the removal process the same way. 
much faster. Check this out. Now for unloading material, it's actually a bit trickier, and this is why. You don't just want to yank the material out because that's gonna leave a lot of material at the bottom of the nozzle. And when that printer heats up, or you heat it up to a much higher temperature because you're putting a high temp material in there. Say you have ABS in there before and you go to peak, that stuff's gonna carbonize, it can get hot, you can, you, you, you can clog up a nozzle pretty badly. The best thing to do is actually, in my opinion, not unload material. It's our old friend, Axis, extruder. Get it up to temp. It will get up to temp. And then just push up a little bit at a time. So it inches up just a little bit, gives it time to cool the material so it takes all of it with it. And then, you know, when it's, you know, when you pushed up and you're taking, you know, it's about that far, then you can slowly just kind of pull it up and out. All you're trying to avoid is yanking up on that filament while it's still super molten at the bottom. Because it's gonna leave a bunch at the bottom. And basically, one of the reasons we get clogged nozzles. So, once again, my tip is to actually go to ext uh, extruder, uh, axis extruder, slowly back the filament out just a bit and then you can pull and the normal way uh, is just uh, material unload material um, nothing wrong with that but the other way is uh, my uh, my favorite way and it, it never steers me wrong so that's how you load and unload material into the fun map. if you have any questions let me know thank you guys